Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I'm turning this, the rest of this week, into a weekly vlog. So this, um, because for the next couple of days, my gift guides are going to go out for Vlogmas, and those are pre-recorded. So I think I'm just going to turn Tuesday through Friday into a normal weekly vlog and get back on track with weekly vlogs, which will be weird because doing daily vlogs for so long is going to be really strange. So this morning we are out and about. It's just Aiden and I in this vehicle, but we're running errands as a family. Riley and Scotty are in her truck. I have to renew the tags on my car. We need to get Riley's truck tagged. We have not done that yet. Um, we finally got the title and all that. So got insurance on it in our name this morning. Now we're going to go get it tagged, get my car renewed. In Missouri, you have to still have a safety inspection. So that's where we're at now. So I need to get in there and get in the queue because there's at least one car and I think there's cars in the bays over there. So anyhow, that's what we are out doing this morning. Come along with us for the rest of this week, the week after Christmas, the last week of our Christmas break from school and see what all we can get into. Um, number patches for her sports. Okay. We weren't sure during the summer if she'd keep her same numbers. No, they were. Yay! You just gonna wear it with the tags on it? <laughs> Let me see the back. It looks so good. Wait, her last name's spelled wrong. Okay, this has been a very, very unsuccessful day. <laughs> So, my car didn't pass safety inspection because apparently there's something broke under my car and he says that's why it clicks when you turn the steering wheel. Y'all, I drive this thing every single day. I've never heard a click when I turn my steering wheel. Yeah, still don't. Um, it's so frustrating every time we go for a safety inspection, we fail it because of something stupid. Like, oh, it's so frustrating. Why will Missouri not just do away with this ridiculousness? Anyhow, and then I see cars driving around, literally like bumpers hanging off of them. It's like, how do they pass safety inspection? Anyways, so then we go to get the vehicles tagged. Okay, can't, can't tag mine um, because of that. And we, the title was signed in the wrong place. Apparently, there's a little slip that you rip off, and the per the person selling was supposed to keep that, and that's where we signed. <sighs> so. We got to get that fixed. And then I went to pay our personal property taxes because they have to pay by, be paid by the end of the year. And I'm like, I'm missing one. I don't know what to do. And so the lady looks it up and this is the one thing that goes right. She says, oh, your mortgage company paid that. I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot. We refinanced and escrowed that in. So thank goodness that was one thing that went right. And that's it. What else did we do? Got Riley's letterman. Oh, that's right. That's the last thing I filmed. We picked up Riley's Letterman jacket. She goes to put it on, and I'm like, your name's spelled wrong. Her last name said F-L-I-S-P-O, but it just looks like the P's messed up and didn't get a tail. So she kept it. They're, they're like, you can keep it and wear it if you want. She's like, my hair will cover my name anyways. But yeah, I don't even know if I caught it all on film because I was like so shocked. I'm like, the name is spelt wrong. Like they didn't give us the patches to look over when they told us the jacket was in and she went and tried the jacket on. She just tried the jacket on. So ugh. now I'm fixing to go into the bank. Fingers crossed nothing goes wrong here. And I'm ready to get home and barricade myself in my house for the rest of the day because, oh my goodness, what the heck? So I'm going to go do that so I can get home. It's 2.30. Lunch was really good though. We ate at Subway. That was delicious. Except it was really expensive. Every time I eat at Subway, it reminds me why we don't eat at Subway. It was $46 for the four of us to eat. Like we don't spend that at sit down Mexican restaurants. So anyway, it was delicious. So I shouldn't complain, but that's why we don't eat Subway very often because it's really expensive for a sandwich. Okay. I'm going to go in the bank so I can go home. Hey, Here. He'll come save you. He looks so tiny next to you. 
look at this. <laughs> hey y'all happy tuesday um i have a vlog today it's 7 41 p.m <laughs> um it has been a very uneventful day for a vlogging sake um i did college literally all day long like from the time i got up this morning which was like almost 10 o'clock so literally i got my cup of coffee wow got my I needed a second cup obviously I got my cup of coffee and logged on and worked on college all day long so um until 6 5 30 something like that but a long time so I finished my orientation I then did my I'm looking at my list because I had a checklist I finished my personal learning guide which I did really good on I was really proud of that actually wait 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 yeah, 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 that's the one, right? Personal learning guide. I don't know. I did like a pre-assessment of everything and I did pretty good. I was actually very um, happy with how that turned out. So it was kind of like just a 20 question, whatever thing or less on some of the things on all of the basics, I guess, basic general education studies, whatever. Um, so like punctuation and writing, um, did a math thing. I actually did like a typing test, um, a reading fluency and comprehension, um, like how fast I read it. And then I answered questions and how many of those I got right and wrong and whatever. Um, so I did pretty good. I was actually very happy with that. Keep in mind, if you are new here and just tuning in, by the way, I am beginning college in a matter of days. Um, I enrolled back in November for to start on January 1st um, but apparently like my courses unlock on January 1st but I don't actually start until January 5th which I'm just now finding that out so it's fine I don't mind waiting five extra days but I got my orientation done um, and I've never done college so I am 22 years removed from the education system like being a student I, and I've been a paraprofessional for a year and a half at this point so um, I actually <laughs> was able to use a lot of the math I learned last year from um, a teacher I went in her classroom on to pass my math assessment. So yay, thank you very much for that. Um, so anyway, I did I did finish my orientation, did my personal learning guide, and then I did course planning tools for all of the four courses I'm going to be enrolled in in my first term. And I got all of that ready and set up to be able to do a call at 7.30 this evening and then I got an email from my program mentor that said, um, tonight's meeting has been canceled because the instructor is sick. I was like, no, like I did it all today. I mean, I'm glad that it's done. I really am. But I was like actually looking forward to this so much because it's like the first introduction to what my actual program is going to be about. It's called L Ed, which is like elementary education. And anyway, so I was so excited for it. And then they canceled it. Just ignore anything you see behind me because my room's a wreck still. And I did not make my bed. I actually spent a lot of day in bed with my little lap tray. I think it's over here against the wall now. Um, doing a lot of my stuff in bed. So it was really nice, but now I have moved to my desk. I really should have filmed that for you guys because it was literally piled up to like here with just laundry, honestly, laundry and my Christmas gifts. So I still need to film my what I got for Christmas video. So I put everything in a laundry basket over there so I can film that. Probably won't film it till Friday. I'm not sure exactly how it's all going to play out. Um, but I had to clean off my desk because I needed to get my workspace set up. There's still, I need to move this little basket that's in the corner over here and this little basket on the edge just to give myself plenty of room. But this desk is not where I need to be working. Like I need something different. The desk is too low. I think, I don't know. 
it's just not ideal. Like my back is already hurting just from sitting here the 30 minutes I've been sitting here. So I need to figure something else out for that. Honestly think I probably will do a lot of my college in my craft room once I get internet out there. Um, and of course I'm going to do a lot of it at school because I stay after for two hours almost every day of the week waiting on my kids to get out of practices. So that's when I probably will do quite a bit of my studies is um, just in my classroom for those two hours after school each day. So anyhow, I really just wanted to pop on and say, hey, because I have not yet and um, tell you how excited I am that I have all that stuff done. I have a call tomorrow with my enrollment mentor um, and then I have my now my class on Friday um, and then I have a call next Tuesday. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I just sneezed. I have a call next Tuesday with my program mentor. So, and then apparently on the 5th is when I actually start my courses. So that's the next Thursday. So a week from tomorrow, a week from tomorrow, I actually start my courses. So, um, I'm actually kind of not sad about that. I was really thinking like, oh my gosh, if my courses unlock on the first, we have our lock-in and I'm going to be at church after the lock-in for New Year's day. And then. I'm going to be so exhausted and then I'll come home and be like, Oh, now I got to log in and do college. So I'm actually not too sad about it. I'm just nervous though, because I only have two more opportunities to take this course because the one tonight canceled and I got my orientation done so late, did not intend to, but Christmas period, Christmas got in the way. Um, so I've just somewhat waited to the last minute unintentionally, but anyhow, Besides the point, I just wanted to say, hey, hope y'all had a good Tuesday. And now I'm going to edit my next Vlogmas, which is what I got my grandkids for Christmas. So anyhow, oh, 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 oh. When I woke up this morning, I was at 900 subscribers. So there's a victory. That's an exciting thing. So that's something fun to tell you. In addition to, yay, I finished my orientation. Yay, I'm finally at 900 subscribers. So I'm not going to make a thousand by the end of the year, but at least I crested. 900 and I am well on my way so soon to hitting a thousand. So that's exciting. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Hi, welcome. Hey y'all. Happy Thursday. Uh, the kids and I have dentist appointments today. Um, so it's 1230. I don't know why I scheduled it at 1230. It's 1210 right now, but the appointments at 1230, uh, cause we're all starving. Um, so anyway, we're going to go get our teeth cleaned. It's just our six month, um, appointment. And then we're going to go eat lunch because, again, we're hungry. And then we're going to go shopping for the the uh, the youth group lock-in. So we're going to go try and find some prizes for all the games. Do you guys want to do an auction this year? I never have, like... Or do we want to just pick prizes as we go? I don't know. I'm auctioning, so... Okay. Well, I'll figure that out. So basically, I just need a bunch of prizes for one way or the other. If they win the prizes at that time or if they earn money and we get to do the auction. So, um, yeah, so we're going to go into the dentist. We're actually like 20 minutes early, but hopefully it'll get us in early. We can get out early and go eat so we can stop starving. My stomach is going to growl the whole time I'm sitting in that chair. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I asked Riley if I could show her outfit cause she looks so cute today. Um, and she said yes. And then Aiden said, are you going to show my outfit? So he's worn the same hoodie for like four days in a row. No, I haven't. <laughs> Oh, remember I was wearing my... Oh, that's right. You got a new one yesterday. Okay, it's a little windy. It's like 60 degrees here, y'all. But look how cute she is. Wait, yeah. There you go. Oh, you are so adorable. Look at our cute little dentist behind her, too. It's such a cute office. Uh, so, yeah, that's one of the Sheen outfits she got. And she looks adorable today. Perfect 60-degree December day to wear it.
you yesterday but we went to the um, holiday tournament basketball game at our school oh my gosh my hair is crazy right now um, but today was a very uneventful day again except oh gosh sorry um, today was a very uneventful day except for take two trying to get vehicles tagged and it did not work out I'm not even gonna get started on it because I'm so frustrated still but Riley did get the seats covers in her car. There's Riley. She's riding in the back because Scotty's driving. Um, but I did have my elementary education call about kind of a course or program overview. So that was really cool. Um, it was like a online call kind of thing. So that was fun. And I just got a few more college things taken care of today. And Scotty went and worked for one of our neighbors. When you live in the country, like, people that live miles away are still your neighbors, you know. Um, so anyway, he went and worked for him today, and he's taking us out to dinner tonight. So that's fun. Aiden's meeting us there. Um, he's with a friend right now. They were ice skating. You need to be in that lane, yeah. Um, and so... Okay, sorry, I just got a text. I was trying to read it. Um, so yeah, he's taking us to Red, Lob red Lobster for dinner tonight. Speaking of red, oh, her faces are <laughs> red from yeah. those tail lights. Um, anyway, so we're very excited because it's been a while since we've been to Red Lobster. I think like, was it over the summer or in the spring when my uncle and aunt came up from Texas? I can't remember when it was, but that's, it's been a little while, but we love Red Lobster, so I am very excited. Um, but Scotty said Aiden's probably like very confused because we just told his friend's sister that's driving them to meet us at Red Lobster. So he's really like, why are we going to Red Lobster? So anyway, uh, yeah, I just wanted to pop on and say, hey, while we were on our way down there, because two days in a row of me just showing you random things is, you know, kind of weird. So I figured I'd at least pop on and say, hey. So anyhow, we're almost there. And that is all. Hello. It is much later at night. Um, we had a lovely dinner with our friends and um, it was just really nice chatting with them and the food was amazing which it was Red Lobster so I think one time we've been disappointed at Red Lobster otherwise it's been amazing um, but I've just been sitting here in my room um, uploading tomorrow's video making checklists my Saturday to-do list of things I need to get done we spent some time in here playing with this little microphone thing that I got for the youth group. Um, it's kind of fun. I told Riley, I said, you know, I really got this for me, right? Cause I needed something else to be loud and annoying with. She's like, it's working. Just kidding. She sang on it for quite a while. It was pretty fun. Um, anyhow, getting ready to go to bed. I'm back in this chair. Um, you can't really see it. You'll see it in my, what I got for Christmas video. Um, but I was coming to bed, just got my pajamas put back on and, it reminded me of this morning. So I think I told you earlier that I had some college things to do this morning. So um, I had a call at 8.30 this morning with my um, admissions, wait, what is she called? My enrollment mentor. And uh, I was like, okay, I have my call at 10 for my um, course program details. And I was like, am I gonna have to be on camera? You know, whatever, am I gonna have to talk? And she's like, nope you it'll just be in the chat the instructors will talk and if you want to interact you can interact through the chat and I was like okay awesome so I was in my pajamas my hair was up like this no makeup no earrings um I actually had my robe on that's what's on the back of the chair and my bed was not made because I rolled out of bed at eight o'clock and had my call at 8 30 so I went and got my coffee sat in here did my call well, then I ordered groceries and did some other things until 10 o'clock, replied to some emails and stuff. And then my 10 o'clock call comes around. And so I'm still in my robe, like I said, all these clothes, pajamas, because it was still morning time. Had my second cup of coffee, sitting here ready to jump on my call. Jump on my call. People start popping on. Everyone except me has their camera on. 
And I was like, oh my gosh, what do I do? What do I do? So I put my hair down and like juiced it up a little bit and like took my robe off and kind of made sure my camera was only going to hit me like here. So you couldn't tell that I had a pajama shirt on. And uh, I was like, oh my gosh, okay, okay, I'm just going to turn my camera on. My bed was, I mean, it's still slightly unmade. I threw the covers back after I got off. Actually, after I, okay, let me finish my first story. Um, my bed was unmade behind me. I was so embarrassed. And I was like, okay, whatever. It's not that big a deal. But I kept trying to like slowly position myself like where you couldn't see because it, it wasn't as wide angle as this. It was my computer laptop um, webcam. So I'm like trying like slowly trying to like maneuver myself where I'm, my head is, you know, blocking the majority of my unmade bed. I was like, oh my gosh. And so anyway, then, you know, a couple minutes in after they've introduced themselves and stuff and started talking about what the call is going to be giving time for more people to hop on. She's like, okay, um, to save bandwidth, everybody turn your camera off. So I was like, I probably didn't even need to turn my camera on. I just felt like I did because everybody else was on. And so I turned my camera off and unplugged my headphones so I could hear it through my speakers and like ran over here and like made my bed, like threw my blanket over and everything. And just in case we had to turn them back on at the end of the call or anything like that. So we did not. But of course, my dang bed was unmade during that portion of the call. And I was just so embarrassed. So, of course, I had to share that with y'all because, you know, why not? Um, but I also want to tell you dinner was lovely. Um, and then after dinner, we went to um, Walmart and got groceries and stuff for the lock-in. Anyhow, I'm going to bed. It's like it was 11-11 when I was brushing my teeth. So that was moments before I walked in here. So I'm going to go to bed, but I had to tell you all that funny, embarrassing story of me. My bed's still slightly unmade, but do you make, make your bed or do you just throw the covers back over? I do both. Depends on the majority of the time. I just throw the covers back over. If we've had a particularly restless night or something, or after a couple of days, like Scotty always rolls one way. And so the covers like slowly move his way. And then I am like left with nothing. Um, then I'll like make, make the bed. But for the most part, I just throw the covers back. Anyhow, that's it. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see y'all tomorrow for New Year's Eve party prep. I should have went to bed a lot earlier. I am going to try to sleep in in the morning because we're going to be up like all night tomorrow night for New Year's Eve lock-in. I don't, even, I don't know if I've even talked about the lock-in much. There'll be plenty of that content to come. Hey y'all, happy Saturday and happy New Year's Eve. Um, I just finished recording, recording, filming, whatever you want to call it, two videos. My family is literally pulling in the driveway right now. They have been gone. That was like perfect timing. I filmed both of those videos and I just finished editing the first one, which was my what I got for Christmas video. Y'all look so cute today. I love, uh, this is my Christmas gift from my daughter, uh, Katie and my Christmas gift from my daughter, Riley. Um, anyway, I, I don't know, just going back through my Christmas gifts, I just have been so spoiled, but anyhow, it is New Year's Eve and I have a million things I really need to be doing. It's 2.12 in the afternoon. We need to be at the church at about four. We're having our lock-in tonight, two at night with our youth group. And, um, I really don't have a lot of prep that I need to do here. It's mostly going to be stuff there and I'll be there two hours before, um, kids start getting there. So it's going to be just fine. But anyhow, it's been a very good and very productive day so far. My family went to spend their Christmas money and go shopping and Scotty's uncle ended up meeting them in town and they went to lunch. So I'm sad I missed him. But anyway, I got a lot of stuff done while they were gone. So anyway, I wanted to just pop on and say, hey, and film while I'm looking cute, film for the third time today. So anyhow, um, yeah, Vlogmas has come to an end officially now because I am editing. I mean, not editing. I'm done. I'm exporting the last Vlogmas video. It has been quite the journey. 31 full days of video uploads, technically more than that because I uploaded before and there's going to be this videos coming out the day after. So that's a lot of me in a row. So I hope y'all enjoyed Vlogmas. I enjoyed doing Vlogmas. I kind of mentioned this in my gift guide video too, but, um, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's coming to an end, having done something with it every single day for an entire month. But, um, I will also be glad to get back to normal life. I 
can see looking at my unmade bed. Remember my, <laughs> my talk last night? Yeah, I did not make my bed. What is it? Oh, there's just stuff that was sitting on my desk. I had to move it out of my way. Anyhow, I'm going to go talk to Scotty, see what they found at the store, and wait for this to finish exporting so I can upload it to YouTube because i got to schedule it now because we're going to be at the church all night long, and this needs to go out tomorrow morning. Vlogmas 31, going up on January 1st. Holy moly, we made it to the end. All right, the party is well underway. We've already devoured most of the pizza. Um, I'm setting up the next game, but right now they are doing the gingerbread houses. Scotty's looking at me. Yeah. Um, they're doing the gingerbread houses. So we had several of them actually break before we even started. And there's 14 kids, so we ended up with nine to be able to decorate. So I knocked it down to seven and just put an extra piece on every kid's plate. So they have to use their creativity and make up their own gingerbread house in teams of two. So no. go around. <laughs> some of them are very much struggling with this, uh, Aiden being one of them. But uh, anyway, we'll come around and look at some of them. All right, girls, how's it going? No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Hey, and then we have the Santa's one? village over here. <laughs> These girls, they got to figure it out. Santa bombed our Uh oh. Are y'all making sure to share the icing with everyone else? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Riley and Caleb. <laughs> Just kind of hanging out. Case and Aiden's, lovely. Ours looks actually really good. What are you doing with your extra pieces? I don't know. We're gonna, we might build some pieces. Okay. All right. Yours is coming together, looking good. Can you show us the back side, it doesn't look good. Oh, lovely, lovely. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, there's number one. Number two, number three. I'm loving the utilization of the extra pieces, y'all. Some creativity here. Um, this one is sad. Looks like it looks like Christmas breakfast, really. All right, is Case back? What are you doing? 
checking under every pew. noise on there. I guess I shouldn't let my phone light shine. Gosh, I can't see anything. That is a strategy. You think people are dwindling down? I don't know, maybe. Did I hurry to hit? I haven't seen a lot of people. I believe that. No, because I've seen everybody. They're all everywhere. I think she has me down the hall. But I've tried to. I've been in the kitchen. I don't know. Most of my life, punching at shadows. I just have no idea where anything is. She's up in the Over there. <laughs> y'all don't even know how loud you were. Are y'all all the way down there in that room on the stairs? This isn't very sardine -y. You're supposed to like cram all together over there in that corner. Hey y'all, happy Sunday and happy new year. It's 3.15 in the afternoon. I think we got home from church and from the lock-in um, at about 1.30ish or something like that. Once church got over, we, of course, we had to clean up and get everything back in order because um, 15 teenagers and three adults in the church for 15 hours plus actually way more than that because we were there till almost 1.30 um, was a lot to get cleaned up, but we did it. We succeeded. We survived. We had a really good time. Um, I don't even remember how much I filmed, but we played a lot of games. We had a lot of fun and everyone was very grateful and very sweet and they thanked me a lot for all the food and cooking and prizes and all of that so anyhow it was a really fun night but I am exhausted so we cut them off at 4 a.m. and said okay girls downstairs boys upstairs you don't have to go to sleep but we're <laughs> you have to respect those that do want to go to sleep and um, time to just chill out you know so boys played cards. Apparently they were not the quietest because Scotty didn't get a lot of sleep. The girls did pretty good. They whispered and when I went to bed, they were playing heads up like the um, phone version of it and they were being pretty good. So I was able to fall asleep. Didn't sleep great. Probably woke up <laughs> every hour at least and then got up. Well, I woke up at like eight laid there till 8 30 actually my alarm didn't even go off i turned my alarm off before 8 30. got up cooked breakfast for everybody including those that came for sunday school um, i didn't really cook we did bagels with cream cheese and we did fruit and yogurt parfaits and bacon so it was super easy and everybody loved it they they loved it so it was a hit i'm really glad that it was a hit 
But now I am exhausted. So came home, barely unloaded anything. Cause I'm like, I don't, I don't want to deal with it. Like we brought in the stuff that needed to go in the fridge and that was it. And then the chief's game was on. So, um, the boys watched that. I was there, but I wasn't really watching it. And then I made Buffalo chicken dip for lunch. We ate that and the game just ended and here I am in bed <laughs> because I'm going to take a nap now. So when I get up from the nap, I'll close out this vlog, but at the moment I'm going to get some rest. So I'll see y'all later. Hey y'all, it is much later than when I talked to you last. Um, I look super special right now. Um, how many times am I going to show you my unmade bed in this specific video? I think we're up to three or four. Sorry about that. That's from taking a nap. It was made. I'm kind of proud of myself. Um, I took a nap and it was delightful. It was a very nice nap. Uh, but it's 1017. I have been sitting here for an hour waiting on my footage from this weekly vlog to move over. And I'm thinking, why in the world is it taking so long? And remembered, I have so many things between here and there. I have filmed a um, Q&A video. I have filmed a grocery haul and I have filmed something else. And well, and then my weekly vlog footage. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I already moved at least the Q&A over. Oh my gosh. So what a mess. Oh yeah. And my, what I got for Christmas video. That's what it is. So I'm like double moving footage over because I'm silly, but anyway, it's taking forever. So I'm sitting here. I've been watching the Braun vlogmas, Braun family vlogmas. Um, catching up on them because I missed yesterday's because I was at the lock-in and I am well one I am officially an active WGU student as of today January the first um so that's exciting I am filling in my planner um just getting some stuff caught up I am writing down questions for my registration call on Tuesday next week wait what is today oh yeah today's Sunday so Monday we don't have school we go back to school on Tuesday and then I have my school notebook here that's got sections for each class so I think I'm each term that I enroll in or each time I am able to start a new class hopefully one of these little sections will be enough for each course that I'm enrolled in because so much of it is online but I'm a huge note taker so we'll see to be determined I guess but I figure yeah, I can only do one class at a time I don't know if I've talked about that too much but you finish one course at a time. That's also a big part of the acceleration. Sorry, I look crazy, guys. I look crazy. Um, but that's part of the acceleration is you focus on the one course at a time and get it done and out of the way and move on to the next. And so my brain will accelerate at that on its own. Like, I'm a great multitasker. Like, I'm sitting here watching this and I'm filling out three different notebooks. I'm a really good multitasker in that way. But also, like, if I can stay focused on one thing, I do really well. So, best of all the worlds, I suppose. So, anyway, um, what was I saying to that effect? So, I'm trying to get this all moved over so I can uh, have my weekly vlog uploaded by in the morning. So, anyway, this is it. This is the end. This is the end of of vlogmas I think officially I'm going to count at the end because the last one actually went up this morning but I've been filming all along so I will still con continue to film almost every day anyways but we'll be, be back to weekly vlogs and I know I've talked about all of that already in other videos but it's bittersweet in a way because I have I feel like grown so much during vlogmas and I've gotten so many subscribers during vlogmas and I've gotten closer to some of you subscribers you've been so precious to me during this time and this season in my life and now it's on to college 2023 back to, to school back to work you know um so I'm excited I'm excited to get this next week started get some cleaning done I got a pile of laundry over there I'll probably start next week's vlog out with um but yeah, I'm excited to see what 2023 will bring. So thank y'all for coming along with me this week on this first weekly vlog of 2023, which is technically the last week of 2022. Um, but during Vlogmas, all of this journey that we've gone through, my um, college journey, because that started right before um, Vlogmas as well. So we've done a lot together 
this December. And I'm so grateful for your love and for your companionship and your support. Um, I didn't make a thousand subscribers, but all 903 of you, we made it to 900. And so that is crazy exciting. So thank y'all so much. Thank you for the love and the support. I think I said that twice, but that means I mean it right. Um, because I really do. So thank you. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.